Uh, for a band just starting their trek in the Twitter world, what's the best way to uh, to market your account and gain followers? Um, somebody else asked, um, what's the single most important tool a musician can use right now to interact with fans? And um, somebody else asked, um, what advice do you have for up and coming musicians in terms of social media? Um, so, I mean, I, I think the, the just to kind of distill that, um, if I can take a little license with that, would be, um, you know, if you're just starting out in this in this game, um, you know, what if, what are your priorities? What are the what are the smartest priorities, basically? Okay, so I would say the three priorities in order are one, focus on the product itself, focus on making great music. music. Yeah. Exactly, because you know, part of the benefit of this is that people would say it's a hyper efficient ecosystem or something. You know, that if you make something great, it is the best way to facilitate its rapid spread and uh, engagement. So I think focus on the music, uh, set the bar low for people to engage. In other words, if you're just starting, I mean, we're still developing, but we give away a lot of free music. And I think in a cultural economy where people are used to not paying for music or other journalism or movies or whatever, if you're getting started, you can't be precious about it. You have to allow it to be fluid and circulate through people's networks. Um, and the third one, I didn't actually prepare. I just think that the rule of threes is a good sure. prerogative <laughs> for panel discussion. Yeah. So, yeah. I got I to I start. I got to start. Go ahead. You got to make it easy. You got to make it easy. So if, you're gonna, if you want somebody to become a follower, make it available. If you want somebody to, if you want somebody to sign up for your fan list, make it available. Don't, don't be so, don't be afraid to ask for what you want. And I'm gonna add a fourth. I know they're supposed to come in threes, which is to leverage your existing friends and fans to create more, because that's really all you got to start with. You know, you got your mom, your girlfriend, and your two fans that come to your show, and you gotta, and you gotta get them to, and you gotta get them to do something, and then pretty soon you have eight people, and then ten people.